a metro transport network (MTN) is a brand new transport network technology that supports network slicing characterized by hard isolation. Network slicing enables the creation of multiple virtual networks with relatively independent resources over just one network. MTN paths are native network slices. What does hard isolation mean? In short, it means using specific time slots to forward the information of specific MTN paths. Imagine if a group of people in two different lines wanted to pass over a single plank bridge. People standing in line one can pass only when lights one, two, and five turn on. Those in line two can pass only when lights three, four, and six turn on. The advantages of doing things like this is that people in different lines don't get in each other's way, and waiting times to cross the bridge are relatively short and fixed for each line. This is how hard isolation and deterministic low latency work. So, how do MTM paths come into being? Quite simply, MTN adds a new layer to the physical layer of the Ethernet protocol stack. At this year, MTN assigns time slots to signals at the Ethernet physical layer, forming logical channels. These channels are MTN paths. This design makes MTN downward compatible with the Ethernet physical layer, gaining all the great advantages that come with the Ethernet industry chain. In addition, it also means MTN is upward compatible with MAC and IP layer protocols, making the technology widely applicable. MTN also has a simple but efficient OAM mechanism. It uses idle resources at the Ethernet physical layer to carry OAM messages. In this way, MTN measures in-band flows without occupying service resources, meeting the high reliability requirements of carrier class networks. As 5G and computing-first networks are becoming increasingly widespread, ever higher demands are being placed on transport networks. Here, MTN makes a big difference with hard isolation, deterministic low latency, high compatibility, and high reliability characteristics.